Hello, Sophia, Hi. Ben and Grace. Hello. Thank you for joining me today to talk about uh, the fact that you were new to the sixth form um, a couple of years ago uh, and to discuss uh, and explore how you felt and how you fitted in and what advice you give other people. So my first question to you is why did you join CGS? And so I originally came from there was a school called Piper's Corner, it's an all girls private school. And um, I knew for me personally that I definitely wanted to go co-ed for sixth form just because it kind of helps you prepare for uni and like life is co-educational. So that was a big draw to Chesham. And then also like the amount of new students they have, there's so many coming at this one time. So you don't feel like the only one joining. So it's so much easier to make friends. I feel like you would both agree with me on that one. It was quite yeah, easy definitely. to get. Definitely. I think I think for me as well, uh, CGS, for me going to sixth form was obviously you want to get a good sort of academic pack so you want to be able to get a solid set of a levels to go to university with or do what you want um but for me cgs offered sort of a bit of a balance as well as in this as you as you say everyone there are lots of different people and for me i found actually everyone was really friendly and smiley and was really welcoming to to everyone and you, it's really easy to make friends uh, at cgs which is the sort of atmosphere that i got when i came on the induction day and then well and then when i joined it was exactly the same as that and then also will be extracurricular stuff as well uh, is sort of you you going into the sixth form is what you make of it so you can choose and pick what you want to do and for me that was another 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 pro yeah and the fact that you made that decision as well to come here like one of about about 50 other people as you say that that decision then enables you to make those other choices and decisions like that get, getting involved and things like that thank you what about your experience grace um i personally chose uh, CGS because of the resources and the um, teachers engagement with the students I remember coming to the open day and just feeling like the teachers were so like involved and they actually wanted to see me succeed and I was um, I was I don't know it was different to my uh, experience from year 7 to year 11 it was just like I felt much more uh, that they cared and that they were willing to put the effort and the time in to see me go into university or whatever I wanted to do in the future yeah. Great, thanks. So, what advice or tips would you give people, uh, students who are joining CGS, how to settle in and how to, uh, you know, to get over the you know, fear and anxiety? I don't know if that's what you, you know, because you, you, everyone feels that, I think, in their stomach or in their head, you know. So, what kind yeah. of top tips would you give to people? Well, naturally. Well, I think personally for me is just get involved in it as much as possible. Um, yeah. For me, when I joined, I mean, I got involved in the the, the musical the school musical and then that sort of led to you getting involved more in the music department and it's sort of you sort of lap onto one other something else after you get involved in something you meet someone and then you meet a right range of different people you, you get used to a range of different faces and you meet different people across year groups and it makes it a lot easier to settle in uh, and you get to know a lot of people really quickly and everyone's really friendly which helps as well yeah, yeah. It, it's like your form time as well uh, if you interact in form time you're going to meet so many different people across so many different years which is really good yeah because of vertical tutoring yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. with that i remember um one of the when i gave the speech to the year 12s um the one thing i said was smile everywhere you go have a smile on your face because that makes <laughs> you a happy face the much more comfortable face it's true so that way yeah. if, if, I smiled at someone it would be a great kind of bridge to kind of get a conversation going and it's just kind of one of those things that if you're happy people gravitate towards you and that you look like a friendly person and they would feel less awkward and less fear of rejection to coming to speak to you so yeah. smile at everyone that was what I went in with and I think it worked okay yeah yeah and talk to as many people as possible I think as well mm -hmm. like don't be afraid to just say hello or you know because the first few weeks that you're there, everyone's in the same. Like, although there are obviously people that have been there since year seven or before, they're quite open to you know talking to new people and meeting new people because you've got a load of new faces uh, yeah. in your school. So they're very happy to talk to you and and welcome you into you know their social mm -hmm. circles and whatever. So it's it's not it's not hard as long as you just talk to everyone and, and basically what's the fear? Yeah, so yeah. fantastic. Any other top tips like or about how to settle into the academic side, maybe? What advice would you give there? Because you've all come from different types of schools, 
Yeah. So therefore, again, moving to CGS, you sort of you know the expectations that you had and that probably we have. But how would you, yeah, recommend like settling into the routine of the, of the daily school life? Um, don't push yourself initially, because I remember when I turned up, I um, I was slightly overwhelmed with the amount of work, and I was just like, oh no, I didn't expect this. But just try and enjoy the fact that you're at a new school and you're meeting new people. And then when it gets to like Christmas time, start pushing yourself because there's no point stressing yourself out as long with meeting new people and everything like that. Yeah, I can yeah. do more. With, uh, with your new timetable that you get when you join, when there's you have these open spaces on your timetable that Mr. Westcombe likes to call study periods. Yes, <laughs> freeze, freeze. Um, freeze. Study periods. <laughs> um, so I would definitely recommend kind of, especially in the first kind of term, as Grace said, use your free slash study periods wisely and kind of split your time in that very first half term really if anything think well these kind of freeze I could definitely go to the Curtis Centre maybe get some work out maybe not be as productive but be productive in the sociable sense in that you're getting to meet new people and then your other time you can go to the library and then because that's a really underutilized space and I personally found in year 12 it was really great to kind of get away from everything and you could just work for an hour and then when you go to your lessons you're refreshed and you're ready to socialize again because it can be quite draining joining a new school, being sociable 24 seven and having to keep up with the A-level workload. So I definitely think work out your balance, but use those free slash study periods to best suit you, I would say. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say in terms of places to go, if you want to get work done solely, go to the library or the careers library yeah. or yeah. find an yeah. empty classroom. If you want to be sociable, but do a little bit of work, then go to CAFAF. Yeah. Um, if you want and then if you want sort of in between sort of the mid range go to one of the study rooms because some of them you'll find that people are just working others you'll find you may go with a group of friends and you'll do some work and it kind of be like cafe but it just remember if you want to get work done though library uh yeah. you will get work yeah, done yeah library <laughs> there's yeah. no shame in going to the library and, and there is no shame yeah and go yeah <laughs> i agree <laughs> um, uh, i was gonna say what about um, if the workload does get too much? What tip would you give to people if the workload is too much? Don't stress. Yeah. Um, take it step by step. Look at what you've got to do. Yeah. Take prioritize uh, steps. And if it really means you can't, you know, you you're really struggling. Go talk to someone. I mean, Mr. Wesco, Mr. Westcombe and you know the sixth form team are really helpful. Or your teacher, if you can't get something done, the teachers are, you know, really quite understanding. Yeah. Um, I found in particular, um, I did history, geography and politics and the teachers are all really understanding and from what I hear across, you know, in the sciences and everywhere. So just talk to them and they will support you and they help you and they've given, uh, I've had lots of friends that have been given extensions yeah. um, and, and whatever. If you communicate yeah. and like use your emails wisely and just say to the teacher, sorry, either I, I was ill, I missed that lesson, I've not been able to catch up yet. If you just let them know what you're like what's going on in your world so that when you get to the lesson you don't surprise them because that's when it's like well why haven't you done the work it kind of seems like you're excusing yourself whereas if you preact pre preemptively say yeah. I've not been able to complete this work please can I have a little bit more time then they're much more welcoming to like helping you do your best because that's what ultimately they're there to do is help you achieve greatness so I would definitely agree with Ben on that one. Thank you very much. Right, penultimate question. How have you three found your time at CGS? <laughs> I loved it. I found it so good. Um, I basically, I, I don't regret choosing CGS at all. I had so many opportunities thrown at me, uh, more than I could ever ask for. And I met really interesting people from like uh, my year or the years below me who just encouraged me to be a better person. And I think CGS helped me grow. <laughs> kind of opportunities, that's what I was going to say. So what, yeah. in what sense, what opportunities? What did you uh, I became house captain, which I didn't think I was going to do. Um, I'm not naturally a extroverted leadership person. But when I, I, I kind of felt at CGS, I could put myself out there um, and they'd be quite facilitating in allowing me to do something that was out of my comfort zone. And you were a fantastic leader of the best house as well. Like, you know, yes, it is the best house. Uh, thank you. 
Great, really. <laughs> uh, Sophia, what about you? Um, oh, I could really imagine doing my A levels anywhere else, and I think that's a really great thing to have. I have no regrets, and it was like at a couple of points in the year when you get stressed, you're like, oh god, but actually the school itself and the environment and the people that you meet there that kind of it kind of no matter where you go a levels are going to be stressful but i think cgs was very good at kind of helping me balance yes there's a lot of work and you have to work hard but also you can still have fun and you can make friends and you can as grace said throw yourself into leadership and no matter where you come from if you're new cgs it's definitely about rewarding you putting the work in when you're there not how long you've been there and all three of us um, have, have had leadership opportunities. So, and we were all new. So I think that really shows kind of what kind of school would they reward hard work. And I think if that's, you want to work hard, but also play hard, as cringy as that sounds, um, I definitely true. picked CGS, yeah. Well, yeah. As, a, as a head girl, I'm sure you probably worked hard and <laughs> probably not played as hard as perhaps you might have imagined, but you know, all <laughs> that bit. Uh, Ben. Well, it's, it's been it's been great i mean the the social side i mean you you make loads you can make there's an opportunity to make loads of different friends and you take you do what you want with that and and the social, social side brilliant and then the the opportunities as grace says there's there's loads i mean i went to africa for three weeks amazing. Um, yeah. which was a very eventful trip um uh, and we and thank loads of other things. Though, by the way yeah yeah well, thank you so much. <laughs> um as and as, as they both said uh, leadership opportunities are there um acad academic it's it's good it pushes you but it makes sure you have fun and you're enjoying it at the same time uh, the teachers are all supportive helpful and it is sort of like a, a community you feel like you're leaving a yeah. sort of second home when you leave it's sort of like you don't really want to go because you know yeah. at the same time it's it's sort of like when you go back or when you when you go it's like you're leaving a family in a sort of yeah. strange way um, dysfunctional family at times, but a family, um, family nonetheless. Uh, so been brilliant, been brilliant. Lovely, thank you very much. Right, uh, last thing. What would be your final piece of advice for students joining the CGS? Avoid the mass toilets with every <laughs> bone in your body. <laughs> Do not use them. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. Wasn't expecting that. So. Love it. Good top tip. Right. Wouldn't have known that myself. Okay. Uh, I would say enjoy every minute of it because you may at times it may not seem like you're enjoying it. I mean, there are times where you, as Sophia said, where you are stressed or whatever. But when you look back in hindsight, you will miss all of it. Yeah. Um, so enjoy every minute and remember that it is limited you are only there for two years so do make the most of it and remember that at all times don't ever forget that as you go through cjs every, every single day yeah it did get it goes so quick oh i think i, I think i'm gonna stick with my smile because i just <laughs> reinforce that smile at absolutely everyone smile at your yeah. teachers um smile at mr mcmaney the head teacher make you <laughs> visible if you have okay if you have leadership ambitions make yourself visible to everyone because that way you are present in the school community and they can realise that you have potential that can be nurtured. So smile and get involved. Okay, great. Uh, uh, thank you, Sophia. Sorry. Uh, thank you, Grace. Thank you, Ben. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today and gaining from the experiences that you've had and helping to share that with some other people as well. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice to talk to you.